Number 10. Give the shape that describes each hybrid orbital set. And then we have sp2. All right, so we're going to be doing some drawing. We need to draw the shape of what an sp2 hybrid orbital looks like. Well, the first thing here is, or the easiest thing, is to just tell or just write it down. How many letters do you see here? Total letters, right? Technically, we have an S and then two P's. So I have an S, a P, and a P. So this corresponds to three total letters. And with hybridization, the total amount of letters, in this case it's three, is going to represent the total amount of orbitals that you're going to draw from the nucleus. So if I have my nucleus of an atom, let's just say this, it doesn't really matter what the element is, but I have to draw three um, orbitals technically around in a circle. So if I maybe just draw this, oh boy, if I just draw the circle, right, this is like the realm of where your electrons can lie. And you say to yourself, well, how am I going to divvy up three total orbitals in a circle, right? What would be the best possible format for that? Well, if I cut a circle into three lines, you get kind of like a peace sign, right? And 360, the amount of degrees around a circle, divided by three is 120. So it would make sense that these three orbitals, 1s and 2ps, will be going in a 120 degree manner around, oh boy, you kind of get the hint, right? Around the element. So now let's just color them in as if they were, I love this blue, such a nice blue. There we go. There's one colored in, there's two. And there's your three total orbitals. They're all hybrids, which means that they're all the same. So the S and the two P's are relatively the same. I could get rid of this. And just to show, it kind of looks like a cute little, you know, little petal flower, but just to show you that this would be 120 degrees away from each other. This would be 120 degrees, even though I'm a terrible artist, but you kind of get the hint, right? So this would be 120 degrees away from each other. And that's what makes sp2. A real life example of this is carbon. When we, when we have maybe a carbon and a double bond with a two single bonds, right? If we analyze the carbon, it only has three total things around it, right? Even though it's got four bonds, but it only has like three extensions. It's got the single bond that would be represented by this. It's got the other single bond that would be represented by this. And then the double bond is going up top with the oxygen. So that would kind of be like a real life example of an element who shows sp2 hybridization. And you can see that the bond angles are 120 all around as well. So 120, 120, 120, and there you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard. Good luck on those tests and quizzes, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.